Hey, we're up here in the northeast corner of Washington State, and I'm going to show you something about Uncle Norm's fins for troll plates. Now, troll plates all pretty much work the same way. This happens to be an easy troller. Now, in the up position, of course, you're going to go fast. In the working position down, the idea is that the troll plate is going to block the thrust from the propeller. And in blocking the thrust, the boat's going to go slower problem is now the thrust is dispersed. It's going out all different directions and the net result is you don't have a lot of control. The boat kind of wallows around in the water. You can generally get it to go where you want to but really it's not a positive control. So what we've done here is we've added the Uncle Norm's fins to the troll plate. The idea is that the fins add rudder control, uh, that component to it, so that even when you're going slow, you still have positive control. There's some other boats coming in here in the background. Uh, we're going to take this down the lake, and we're going to show you what this does uh, out the wind. This boat has a fair amount of freeboard, it has a big canopy on it, uh, it acts pretty much like a sail out the wind. Without the Uncle Norm's fin, the boat will be all over the place. With the Uncle Norm's fin, we control, we can hold course, we can keep the boat right where we want it. So, let's go down to the lake and see what it does. Let's put the troll plate down and uh, fire this puppy up and we'll show you what it'll do with the troll plate in the down position. We've got the troll plate in the down position, the engine's fired up and uh, the breeze has come up here on the lake so um, you may get a little wind noise. just want you to see that uh, it's a little choppy out here but not bad yet and some storm clouds are brewing. So let's give you an idea here. I'm gonna, we were running at uh, basically idle RPM here. I'm gonna give the steering wheel just a little turn one way. See, we can change course immediately. I can stop it on heading. I can turn it the other way. Any heading I want, even in the wind. And of course, if I just uh, get up here, leave the steering wheel where it is, uh, the boat's going to track pretty much in a straight direction. So we're going to be able to put the boat in troll mode and get in the back and start fishing without worrying about the boat wandering all over the place. Now, this is real important when you're trolling with long lines out. Uh, you want to make sure that you've got good boat control, otherwise your lines are going to be tangled all the while. Okay, um, this is my grandson Tyson. Tyson, you want to look at the camera? Okay, we're out here fishing. As you can tell, and maybe hear, uh, the wind is blowing and the lake's got a little chop on it. We're using the Uncle Norm's fins on the troll plate and we're both here in the back of the boat troll fishing uh, and we don't have anybody at the helm uh, we don't need to uh, you can see there's fish on the scope up there anyway um, we can hold steady out here even in the wind, even though the boat's rocking, we've got a little wave action and the wind is definitely blowing because of the fins that we've added to the troll plate. Uh, we are officially the only boat on the lake now. Uh, everyone else has been blown in off the water. As you can see, it's uh, pretty choppy out here. The wind is blowing. We're uh, trolling for some large trout right now. Okay, oh, keep them away from the propeller. Oh, there you go. Okay, 
Okay. Nice fish. Good job. <laughs>